Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shiloh. I am a uh, local computer technician here in uh, Louisiana. <clears throat> Some of you may know me as the uh, Dell guy or the Sony guy or the you know Dell printer guy or you know uh, whatever. Just uh, <clears throat> I'm a contractor and uh, I go out and service a lot of uh, warranty machines and stuff like that. But uh, if you're watching this video and you recognize me, just drop down in the channel, say hey, what's up? You know, send me a message or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's uh, 34 degrees uh, outside, and uh, I'm cold. <laughs> My uh, home doesn't have very good insulation. I've got this giant convection heater going next to me. But um, I just really wanted to uh, start a little uh, tech uh, video log, I guess you could say. Um, I like uh, I like technology. I like electronics and stuff, you know, and... Uh, it's a hobby and uh actually a uh, part of my job as well but uh stuff does interest me and uh i like to help people you know I, I like to offer advice when i can of course i don't know everything but i know a lot and uh you know in my you know future 3 hours of rambling if you can of course the video is not going to be that long but uh in the future hours of my rambling if you can pick up something that's useful then hey great you know um, if you got questions or something just give me a holler and uh, I'll try and get them answered for you if I don't know how to answer it I'll tell you hey, look I don't know but uh, this might be able to help you out I'll, I'll do some research you know it help keep me sharp on uh, uh, technology stuff you know uh, going through uh, doing some research because uh, most of being a technician is not what you know but how well you research so that'll keep me on my game on that but um, uh, DSL versus cable, the first topic I wanted to cover. And um, I'm going to tell you straight up, look, DSL versus cable, it depends on what the provider is. It depends on the quality of the lines that you've got. And it depends on uh, what package you're paying for with your provider. Uh, that's a lot of what it comes down to. DSL versus cable, you know, DSL is actually faster. Well, no, cable is actually faster. No, DSL has this perk. Well, cable has this perk, you know. Well, I mean, how, how do you go through and measure all that? I just got off the phone with uh, DSL uh, technician uh, because I was canceling service. The reason why I canceled my service with DSL right uh, two years ago is because uh, it, it takes them a week to do anything. It literally takes them a week to do anything from setup to troubleshooting to getting the service back up and running. If it goes down, it takes them literally about a week. Um, of course, some issues, you know, a couple days, but still, I mean, you know, half of, half of my encounters with it has been, it takes a week. As for my current setup right now, um, I called them to have service set up. It's going to take them a week to get out here because they have to send the phone line technician out, and then they have to send the DSL technician out. They can't just have the phone line technician come out pretty quick and then, you know, take a few days for the DSL. No, no it's a week for the D, uh, for the phone technician to come out. Okay. And um, I got fed up with it. I said, hey, you know what, just forget this, cancel service. And and the guy that I was spoke, uh, speaking with, he was like, well, you do know that, you know, uh Cable's 18 megabit service is actually comparable to our one and a half megabit service. And I just, I laughed hard. I laughed hard. I mean, I hate being rude and stuff like that, and I hate really sounding rude, but... Uh, okay, I've been working on computers for 10 years now. Um, of course, like I said, I don't know everything, but I know a lot. You can't pull that over my eyes. You, you just, you can't. You can't pull that over my eyes. Not with Cox down here. Versus the AT&T DSL. You, you can't do that. I had your service for two years. I know very well capable what it's, what, uh, what it's capable of, okay? I've also had the Cox uh, cable for about a year and a half, and I am also very well capable of what it, uh, uh, knowledgeable of what it's capable of, okay? And to tell me that my $45 a month, uh, 12 megabit cable that bursts up to 18 is actually equivalent to your one and a half megabit service that I clawed my eyes out over. No, no, that's not possible. No, you you can't do it. You can't do it. Your one and a half megabit service is equivalent to Cox's one and a half megabit service. You want to know why I know that? Because I run speed tests. 
You told me to go run a speed test on speakeasy.net, and I did, and it pulled right up at 18 megabits a second. That's what, uh, I closed the web page now, but that's, uh, roughly equivalent to about 2.2 megabytes a second. No, you, you can't get 2.2 megabytes a second out of a one and a half megabit DSL line. You can't. You just can't. My upload speed on cable is almost as fast as your download speed on DSL. It's what is available in my area, what I'm paying for, and the quality of the lines. I mentioned that at the start of the video. Okay? Um, when the DSL finally went down for the last day that I had it, um, I called Cox and I said, hey, when can you have service set up here? They said, and this was at 7 o'clock at night. Okay, 7 o'clock at night. They said, we can have someone out there the next morning at about 9 o'clock. I said, what? <laughs> said, tomorrow morning? I was so used to DSL and their service. I was like, man, it's going to be a week before they can get out here. I'm going to be without internet for a week, you know. And I was sick of DSL going down, so I was ready to wait that week. Well, they said tomorrow morning. Oh, it floored me out. I said, okay, do it. Get out here tomorrow morning. And I was getting 9 megabit service for $45 a month. Actually, it was a promotional. It was $35 a month for the first, I think it was six months. And then after that, it's $45 a month. DSL 6 megabit service is 45 a month period. So I was getting faster service for the same price. Win-win situation. And then once I actually had the Cox service, I've had a few hiccups in the service every now and then. Call them up, say, "Hey, you know what's going on? You know, they're oh, we're working on the lines. You know, we had to, you know, change something out. Okay, great, great. You know, when's it going to be back up? Oh, within a couple hours. Okay, I can handle that. You know, I'm a brake fix technician. I know that some things are going to go down, and that's just the fact. That's just the fact of life. Things are going to break, and they're going to need to be fixed. You know, it, it's electronic. It's man-made. It's going to break. <laughs> that's all there is to it." Hard drives are extra because they're mechanical, too, except for the solid-state drives, but uh, mechanical hard drives have, you know, extra liability in there. They're, they're moving parts are going to wear out. But, um, <clears throat> I mean, he uh, he had the ignorance to tell me that our service was the same. I said, okay, apparently you don't know anything about the service down here because you're flat out wrong. And um, I said, I, I ran a speed test just a few minutes ago, and I pulled the whole 18 megabits a second. I said, when I had your 6 megabit service, I was only getting 6 megabits, you know. And you can't tell me that there is no difference between 100 kilobytes a second and 1,800 kilobytes a second. You can't tell me that there's not a difference. <laughs> of course, he was right, though, because he was reading from a script and I wasn't. You know, that, that seems to be the apparent issue with... A lot of internet providers and a lot of tech support, you know, I've had my dealings with them before and, you know, it basically comes down to is they're the one reading from the script, therefore they're right. Okay. Well, in some cases, 18 megabit cable may be the same as one and a half megabit DSL, but don't proceed to tell me that it's the same for me because it's not. I mean, not in this area, cable is top. In other areas, DSL may be tops, you know. And those are usually the rural areas in the middle of nowhere that can't get cable. I might be a little biased, okay? I might be a little biased, but in my experiences, and as a technician, you know, uh, if the cable company is doing it right, you will not notice that your internet drops speeds whenever everybody in the neighborhood starts to get on, if they're doing it right, Okay. Uh, that that is the big claim that DSL has to DSL being greater than cable. Okay, um, if you're with a crappy company, then chances are when everybody on the neighborhood starts getting on, you're going to notice a slowdown, and you're going to go below your uh, registered speed of what you're paying for. Uh, with me, I have never gone below nine megabits a second, and actually they upped that to twelve megabits now. So. Uh, I have actually never gone below 12 megabits a second since they upped it. Not when everybody on the neighborhood is on. At 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm usually pulling the full 18. But I don't pay for 18, I pay for 12. Okay, 18 is just a perk. Okay, so I'm not always going to get that, but 
uh, it is very nice downloading Linux ISOs at, you know, a, a megabyte and a half a second, you know, one and a half megabytes a second. I never got that with DSL because they top at six, six megabits, you know. They top at about 650, 700 meg, uh, kilobytes a second. So, I mean, the service is twice as fast as what I get with Cox. I don't know what I was thinking about going back to DSL, just probably to confirm that they fail in this area. So, I mean, I've got friends that have DSL and they love it. I've got friends that had Cox that they hated it. I've had friends that have DSL and they hate it. And I know that as long as it's working, it's fine, you know. But, um... Now, DSL did claim that uh, they are more secure than cable, which I'm going to actually go with that, and here's the explanation why, okay? Any on, any always-on connection is going to have vulnerability, okay? That's just, you know, if somebody wants to get in there bad enough, they're going to get in. Now, uh, with the type of firewall that you're running and how you have your port set up to be blocked and stuff like that, that can make a difference. But, um, you know, nothing's 100%. Now, uh, <clears throat> to uh, back up DSL's claim that they're more secure with their internet service, um, I will actually say that they are because when their service stops working, nobody can get into it. Nobody can get into your machine when their service stops working. So as long as their service is down, and it usually was for me at, at times, then it's more secure at those times. Otherwise, um, it's just the same as anything else. But, you know, and, and of course there are variables and all that stuff. Um, you know, uh, your protection software and, you know, uh, what, the, uh, what the provider is doing on their end to help make sure that you're secure and stuff. And, um, you yeah, know, a lot of it comes down to that. But I've talked enough for this uh, video. Uh, uh, excuse me. I haven't done anything at all today, and I'm tired, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you uh, want some questions answered or anything, just uh, give me a holler on my page. Uh, send me a friend invite, ask me a question, send me a message. You know, uh, if you know my I am, then uh, hit me up a message on I am or Facebook. Um, again, this is uh, Shine Lowe's Tech Video Log, and... Um, Again, like I said, I'm just doing this for my amusement. If you like it, hey, great. If I answer a question, awesome. You know, I, I like I said, I don't know everything, but I know a lot, and I like to help people out. So just give me a question. I'll see what I can do to answer it. And uh, take care.